I guess it belongs to me. I found it. Find his keeper? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever found money before? Three dollars. <laughs> How do you I, feel about finding this? Well, I was so nervous and I, I couldn't hardly dial telephone. So when I went back, finally went back to work, well, I got so sick, I just had to come home. Well, the city's just, the uh, council is just worded it different. See, the appeal board says one door with a big window to jump out of. The city council has just worded it different and says one door with a big window to use as a door, which is still no stairways. It's just another big window to jump out of. This, these people at Sam Carroll Apartments had that alternative. Two couples couldn't get out their door or window. certainly intend to stay in Fort Worth and to serve my people, to try to cry against racial and social injustice, and I will do this in whatever means are available for me.
It's been a long, hot, dry spring in Roosevelt Heights. Three years ago, in 1968, if I'd been standing on this road, I'd have been knee-deep in water. That's when the 68 floods hit in Roosevelt Heights. Many of these houses, water lapped over the floors. It was terrible for the people who lived out here then. It's not much better now, even if it's dry, because flood damage remains. Well, this year, the people in Roosevelt Heights have been offered flood insurance at a fairly cheap rate for their houses. But no one along Moonlight Avenue in Roosevelt Heights has taken flood insurance. I talked with one of the residents out here, Mr. Homer Fisher, to find out why. Now, I'm going to be frank with you. I ain't giving them a dime without else I'll get me a house with you. How about other people who live on Moonlight? Do you, is I anybody taking out flood insurance? No, I, I ain't living with nobody but me. That's who I'm living at. I've got to take care of myself. Ain't that right? That's why I'm there. If I didn't hold me, I'll try to get them. I can't tell them every time the floods would no, I can't do no real deal no fine insurance. Finally, I got uh, damage on clothes in the house. Finally, I got $2,000 on fine insurance. Yeah, I finally got that. That is still going to help me. Agents disagree with the residents of Roosevelt Heights. The insurance people feel that flood insurance is a pretty good deal. Kenneth Tampley of the Dallas Association of Insurance Agents was on Channel 8 News at noon. Here's what he had to say. Well, it don't happen very often. Uh, I led the race the last probably 20 green laps. And, uh, of course, a lot of la yellow laps were involved in between, which caused me to run out of fuel later on, uh, which I decided that if I could stop in the middle of the racetrack and bring out one more yellow, I might get to restart the race. And what was the result when you did stop? Well, uh, they ran one more lap, and the race was called officially at the end of 28 laps, and I was given eighth place. Whereas... Had you had enough fuel, or had they not had so many yellow laps that you perhaps feel were unfair, you would have easily won it and picked up first place? Well, probably so, because I had led. Uh, it, it would have looked like I would have probably won. You can't say that you'd have won. You know, you never know what could happen. Would you tell us why they have so many yellow flags out of the Devil's Bowl? Well, uh, the weatherman, uh, no rain is a big problem. Uh, they're having a real dry surface, and that causes a lot of spin out, a lot of problems. That's the main reason. You feel that it is a good safety factor. You'd rather see more yellow flags and run out of gas than uh, perhaps have a few accidents? Well, I think probably we're actually having more accidents as it stands now than we would if the track was a little wetter. Uh, of course, we can't, uh, uh, nature, you know, it works in a mysterious way. Now, what is your strategy tomorrow night? Are you gonna take along an extra gas tank or can you have more than uh, 25 gallons? Well, I have a 30-gallon tank, but usually uh, 15 gallons is enough to run the race. Uh, all I can say is we'll go out and try again.